a 14-year-old child, who had no medical history known before. Suddenly in his sleep. Queenstown. Adelaide. William Pfeiffer. Last hours last Sunday. Falling asleep and waking up at the house of grandmother and grandfather spent. His destroyed parents Karen Lynch and Mike Shaw said that William was a happy and healthy child. With his golden heart. They expect autopsy results to learn more to their sons about what is happening. They say that William had no medical history to explain the shocking event and that he did not show any symptoms about symptoms the night of his death. Nicole Bands, a long-term friend of Mrs. Lynch, said that she went to the happy and healthy bed during a pajamas with her siblings at William's grandfather and grandfather's house. I think noticed that they were sleeping in bed and checked it and realized that something wasn't right. 42-year-old advertiser. As you can view, ruin is only traumatic and very unfair. They're really emotional and they're struggling to overcome it. It impressed everyone I saw his house and full of flowers full of food brought by people. Mrs. Bands, who has known Mrs. Lynch since high school said William is, like sunlight. His smile was very happy child who was only teleported a little clown and joke. Made everyone laugh, he said. He liked his high, crazy socks. He was wearing bright socks. He was a little funny little character. William. In April 2023 with her husband Mike Shaw with her mother Karen Lynch on the wedding day. Principal Joe Corbo said that Gleason College, where William went to school, mourned since he heard the death of the young person. I was surprised at how quiet the schoolyard was on Monday with 860 students. Corbo Corbo said, the school placed a photo of William on altar in chapel where students could go to mourn loss of their friends. Corbo. Gleason College. Funeral ceremony for the staff and students for a few commemoration services will honor William. He added, in addition, they will be a high socks day gi where students will join colorful socks at the fair in a praise of William. The school made the extra consultancy personnel icon for those affected by its death. We will definitely need it, Mr. Mr. Corbo said. Ms. Bands launched a Wahundmi struggling to deal with William's losses for her family. Free photographer and a wedding celebration. Mrs. Lynch announced that she had quit to handle her grief. No parent should have to endure a child's loss. Mrs. Mrs. Bands wrote on donation collection. Only grief is terrible but additional stress of financial coercion only contributes to pain.